our special coverage on the search and rescue efforts to find survivors at the site of the tragic ferry accident here in Korea. We have been hearing uplifting reports all day, only to be disappointed again. So a lot of conflicting reports all day long. And to clarify certain things, we have our Hwang Sung Yee at the Central Disaster Safety Headquarters in Seoul. So Sung Yee, uh, what's the latest now? Conflicting reports indeed, guys. The Central Disaster Safety Headquarters has officially apologized for the confusion it has caused through what it called its inaccurate choice of words. Earlier, it had announced that a group of divers had successfully entered the cafeteria of the capsized vessel, fueling hopes for the search for survivors. It had said that the rescue team installed three guidelines that can reach the cafeteria and that divers would begin full-scale rescue operations beginning at 3 p.m. Korea time today, which was about three hours ago. With the Coast Guard hesitating to use the word success on describing their entry, that report was proven false hours later by the Coast Guard. Meanwhile, two divers from the South Korean Navy also entered a compartment on the second floor of the vessel about three hours ago, but withdrew just 14 minutes after getting inside. The second floor is where cargo is stored, and the Coast Guard said that the route was blocked by the cargo. Guys? Right. Uh, Sungi, it's been more than two days, 57, eight hours now uh, since the Sewoto ferry capsized and additional bodies are being recovered at the site, but no news of any more survivors. There have just been three recoveries of bodies today. The bodies of two male students were recovered about 500 meters away from the capsized vessel earlier this afternoon. And this comes after a body of a middle-aged man was recovered in the morning, putting the total confirmed death toll at 28. Twelve bodies have been confirmed as being high school students, two teachers, three crew members, and a passenger. Ten bodies have yet to be identified, but seven are believed to be high school students. 268 people still remain missing, and unfortunately, the number of survivors remains unchanged. Guys? We will look forward to some uh, changes in the numbers soon. Uh, thank you for that update, Songi. That was our Hwang Sung reporting from the Central Disaster Safety Headquarters in Seoul.